Hey everyone, uh, my name is Calvin and welcome back to my watercolor videos for Procreate. So I know it's been a few days since I made a video, but it's because I've been working on kind of an interesting project. So before I get started here though, I just want to warn you that there's kind of a weird sound in the background. And uh, it's actually a cow. I don't know why, but he's just decided to hang out right behind my office. And uh, he's uh, apparently in a, in a pretty bad mood, so sorry about that uh, background sound. Last week, uh, a viewer of this channel suggested that I make a uh, salted watercolor effect for this uh, watercolor for Procreate kit. And uh, after a couple of days, uh, I think I found a pretty interesting way to get that effect. And uh, this is going to require two new brushes, and uh, I'll put a, a download link for those uh, in the description. Uh, it's just two free brushes, and uh, it's super easy to use. So in this video, I'm just gonna paint a leaf really quick, and then I'm gonna show you how I recommend you use these uh, salted watercolor brushes to get that effect. So I've got a blank watercolor paper texture here, and I'm gonna do pretty much all of the painting here with the uh, abstract round brush. So I've already chosen a nice green color, and at a large size, I'm just gonna make the stem of the leaf like that, and then I'll make one side. I won't come to a point, and then I'll come down like that. And this salted effect looks really nice if there's a lot of light and dark. So I'm going to add a few layers, and then I'll use the uh, water blender to kind of mix it up. So that looks pretty good. I just want to use the eraser to kind of clean this up a little bit. And I'll just cut off the stem like that. And then in this area, I went over the edge a bit, so I'll just clean that up. So that's the basic leaf. It's really simple. I just want to use the uh, freehand selection tool to add a little bit of a highlight to one side. So I'll just select half the leaf. And then I'll go to Hue, Saturation, and Brightness, and I'll just darken it. And then I'll do another selection. But this time, instead of going down the middle, I'll just go off to the side, and then I'll feather that out. And then I'll go back to the Hue, Saturation, and Brightness and just brighten that side back up to uh, normal. And that's how I can just add a quick kind of curved effect to the leaf. And now that the leaf is finished, I can show you how to use those salted watercolor brushes. So basically, those work best if you use white and I like to do it on a different layer, so I'm gonna make a new layer above my leaf. I'm gonna select pure white, and then I'll go to the uh, salted uh, watercolor brushes and I'll click the soft bloom brush to start. And at a pretty large size, I'm just gonna go over and paint on some random areas of this leaf. I think that looks pretty good. And I did it on a separate layer just in case I wanna lower the opacity of that effect. So I'll make a new layer and I'll use the second uh, salted brush, this one down here, the sea salt scatter brush. And I've still got white selected. And this one I'll use at a little bit of a smaller size and I'll try to go over some of the same areas, but I'm gonna vary my pressure. So pressing very lightly in some areas and harder in other areas. Uh, and that'll control how, um, how hard this effect ends up being. I think that looks pretty good. I'll just go to the layers panel and lower the uh, opacity of that one just a little bit. And then at the very end, I can just pinch and merge uh, all those layers together onto one layer. And that's the basic process that I recommend using to get that salted effect. Just first start out with a soft bloom and then do another layer of the uh, sea salt scatter brush. Um, if you really love texture though, I do wanna mention that I added a new brush set to the Etsy store. And uh, it's basically, it's called the Salted Watercolor Brush Kit. And it does include these free brushes that I use to do this, um, but it also includes a lot more brushes uh, that you can use to get a lot of cool effects like this uh, and some other brushes to get a cool effect like this and pretty much whatever, uh, whatever you want. So that pretty much wraps it up. I just wanted to show you uh, how to get this effect. And uh, as I said before, uh, you can download the free brushes I used uh, in the description down below. So as always, thank you so much for your support. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.